family. Oh my God, it was horrible. Like, they all totally loved him, and then it didn't work out. Kim is going to say goodbye to you, too. How you doing? I'm doing well. Goodbye, Mario. Oh my God. I feel like a schoolboy. What you getting done? I have a date, and I'm trying to look good. The date probably gonna be easy, but they're looking good. I got a, I got a job cut out. You a damn liar. Right, let's get started. There's this chick at the church I go to, right? Okay. She's really interested. What you gonna do? I'm here, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about her? She's really skinny. She's taller than me, but she seems to have a sense of humor. But you know, I've seen her in choir rehearsal a few times and she laughs at everything I say. Cause she's smitten by you right now. You know, whenever somebody wants they pray, they set the trap. So everything will be funny till she gets you. Oh Lord, you make her sound like Annie Wilkes. <laughs> no. Hey. Hey, <laughs> My older sister Jamie is married and she's got two kiddos, 17 and 14. You want to come have coffee? Yeah, let's. We both have retinitis pigmentosa, so it's hereditary and it's also degenerative. We both started with vision. We both lost it over time. What happened to James? <laughs> we still hang out, you know, and stuff. He's cool. Does he dance? <laughs> That is a cool thing. Like, he did learn how to dance for me, which I think is super impressive. And he's not even a bad dancer. He really likes you. Mm, I'd say. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of stuff dad would do. Oh, my God. Do you guys know how they met? Dad's doctor. <laughs> <laughs> he liked me, and I didn't really like him. And then Grandpa gave him my number, and I was trying to lose him. So it's Dad's fault. So it's Dad's fault. Huh. Yeah. See, well, at the, least you two are cool. Y'all have Grandpa to thank. <laughs> yeah. Me and Wayne didn't even date. Like, how are you going to date somebody when they live across the country? Well, then how did you know that you wanted to marry him? I have no idea. He was like, I'm going to marry you. And I'm like, he's not going to marry me, and I'm not going to marry him. So I told him, if you want me to marry you, you have to buy me a ring right now. And he did. And I was like, oops. Persistence is what it's all about, I right? I guess so. I think James is kind of in that same boat. Uh-huh. So Jamie and I, we're very similar in a lot of ways. Well, mom got with that. Does that mean you're going to get with James? <laughs> <laughs> but in a lot of ways, we're very different. So I'm the one that's always late. She's always on time. James and I have been friends for a while and stuff, so I don't know. I guess that's probably the most, like, like, there's a lot of obligation that comes along with it. Like, I'd have to tell them where I'm going and, you know, take his feelings into consideration and stuff, but mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm ready for all of that responsibility. You want to be free. I do want to be free. See, she totally gets me. I kind of feel like you can never really be ready. Like, it's just something you do, and it's kind of weird. What if I'm all like, no, sorry, I don't want you right now, and then I'm thinking I might find somebody later, but then I don't find somebody as nice as him, you know, because he does treat me really well. You can just be like, we're just dating. Yeah, I guess so. Be like, we just go on dates. We hang out and go dancing. You have to have things to relate to each other, so dance. Yeah, y'all have dance. <laughs> huh. my first date with this girl from my church named Kim. Oh, nice. I don't know, she made the first move, so she might be on the prowl for a husband, which, you know, I'm on the prowl for a wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure where James and I are going at this point, or again, what I want out of a relationship. I guess I feel like if He's the right one, you know, maybe the attraction to somebody else might not be there. Hi, Joni. Hey. Hi, yeah. I'm Nicholas. How's it hey, going? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Uh, good. Looking for a hug? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No problem. <laughs> I guess I should, yeah. like, tell you what I'm doing. Oh, no, no. I like hugs. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. Nick is a dancer at my studio. Sorry, I'm not really sure what I should be doing Oh, no doing problem. Or I will doing. let you know. If you know, anything, please. I'll just, like, grab your arm or something. <laughs> An instructor there thought we might, you know, have a few things in common. So here we go. Hello. Can I get like a vanilla latte? For here? Yes. Okay. And Earl Grey? Earl Grey? With Sounds almond milk? Yes. In some ways, I feel a little bit of guilt. <laughs> Door's coming up, and there's a step down. Thank you. Because yeah. I know James wants this to happen between us. I don't want him to feel, to feel bad. You, slightly smiling face. I have insecurities about how people perceive my disability. Mario! Ooh. Right here. 
Hi, darling. How are you? I'm glad you did it carefully, because <laughs> I have been known to accidentally punch people. Thank God you didn't punch me. <laughs> yeah, because you would have punched back. <laughs> but then Cam has known since the beginning of time that I'm blind, because she's seen me run into stuff in the church. So the blind person is always, well, this blind person, don't go find another blind person. I will Stick not. with this one, you understand? Okay. So the blind person is always a step behind you like this, right? Okay. And you just kind of, you know, look out for both of us. If there's a change in elevation, you say, like, step up. Okay. Or step down. Okay. She's interested in me, and she knows I have a bunch of kids, and it was never an issue. I think I got this. Pretty simple. I may be good at this. Yeah. yeah. Whoa! Oh, stop, don't, okay, you cannot do that to me. <laughs> I've got this really special experience planned for her, and I hope she's not afraid of heights. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yay, we're turning. We're going this way. Duck your head and step up. Here we go. Kim protected my head. Good job, sweetheart. Ooh, well, let me get used to the motion Oh, my first. goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's so pretty. Very good. This hey, is gorgeous, go. Mario. And you're not even up at the top. Oh, my goodness. The sunset is gorgeous. I'm losing it. Oh, God. This is high. We are high. Mario, you did good. See? <laughs> you did good. Hey, you in the VIP. <laughs> so, with your blindness, do you think you make more assumptions about people, like based on somebody's name or somebody's voice on the radio? You're like, oh, it's probably like a, a tall, tall white, white guy, a tall white guy, yeah, or maybe yeah, like you know, a big sense. black guy. You've developed um, pictures and ideas of what they look like based on your interactions with them. Like, I had an idea of what you looked like, you know, in my head, like based on your voice. So I thought you're kind of tall. Right. You have like thick, dark hair, maybe. I mean, yeah, I'm bald now. Oh. <laughs> It was close, but not not close. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this guy's totally clean shaven, and then I find out, oh no, he's got a big old beard. And then I'll be like, can I feel your beard? Right. I mean, not like not like like creepy feel, because honestly, like the whole blind people touching people's faces. I mean, that's that's not true. That's not true. No, no that's, that's not just true. TV made up. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Or sometimes I Facebook stalk people. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I do that. Okay. So I think the date went really well with Nick. I think it was fun. So can I join Facebook? <laughs> well, <laughs> Tony, it was fun. Had a good time chatting with her. We'll be seeing each other at the studio. I'm sure we'll dance a little bit more, especially now that we know each other a little bit better. I think I would be open to dating somebody who is blind long term. At least I don't want to say no. It feels wrong to say no. I love your spirit, especially when I first saw you in church and stuff. I was like, that is what I can surround myself with. That That's humbling to me. See me talking to you for six hours <laughs> on the phone and be totally enjoying myself. Well, I am in great company. Yes. <laughs> it was perfect first date, the best first date that I've probably ever had. So yes, he did really, really good. <laughs> yes. So there is chemistry galore. It is like hanging out with a person that I've known for years. Their crab cakes are enormous. I felt so relieved. She jumped right in. And how to communicate with a blind person, that was fantastic. And they have really good tartar sauce. I'm used to getting two of those huge crab cakes that are 90% crab meat. What's that saying, a way to a man's heart? Oh no, that's for a man. It works perfectly fine for a woman. If you learn how to cook, you'll win a woman's heart. I listen to mostly heavy metal. Oh, metal? Like Metallica, Disturbed, oh, all that. Good.